In American families with young children, guarding them against access to potentially harmful substances, including medicines, is a daily concern. There is a federal law that requires certain hazardous products be packaged in containers that will be difficult to open for children under five. These include such common household products as lye, turpentine, and solvents, as well as prescription drugs, aspirin, and iron preparations. Child-resistant containers are not always child-proof. In the end, parents remain the key deterrent to accidental poisoning of their children by properly using and storing child-resistant containers. But there's another side to the story, occasional complaints from adults, that they have difficulty opening their safe medicine containers. That's why adult ease of opening tests also are required for child-resistant packages. However, the elderly and handicapped, without small children, can request non-safety closures. Given the need to protect the young and at the same time satisfy the needs of the older generation, has it all been worthwhile? For the answer, government statistics are analyzed by Dr. J. Arena, Emeritus Professor of Pediatrics at Duke University and past president of the American Association of Poison Control Centers. Since the government required uh, safety uh, closures for uh, children's aspirin in 1972, uh, the deaths from children's aspirin declined over half in the first two years. Uh, and when prescription items uh, were included by law in 1974, certain drugs, uh, the uh, overall uh, poison deaths in children declined 38 percent. In other words, we were able to save one-third of the children that we had lost previously in other years. For Owens, Illinois Incorporated, a pioneer developer and one of the nation's largest producers of child-resistant packaging, the findings are not enough. To date, over 24,000 children in pairs and 9,000 adults individually have been involved in the company's testing program. Federal regulations say 80% of the children, 42 to 51 months of age, should not be able to open these special packages. And after reading instructions, 90% of adults must be able to open child-resistant containers. But work goes on to develop even more effective child-resistant containers that will continue to save young lives and help to close a generation gap. This is John Kipp reporting.